Hi there everyone, welcome to Technoholic. In this video, we're going to compare ChatGPT 4o with the latest offering from Google, which is Gemini Advanced or the latest iteration of Gemini. So without further ado, let's dive in. Okay, so here you can see I have opened both here. You can see on my left hand side is the newest and most advanced model offering from ChatGPT. And on the right, we have got Gemini Advance, which is most advanced variant of Google Gemini. So both these models are top of the line. And I also would like to mention another AI platform, which is known as Cloud A. Personally, I like it most, but for the time being, I'm going to close this because here ChatGPT and Gemini just came up with update. So let's see with some real time example, how capable are these both models? And I would like to start this with code. So I really take a lot of help in coding from these AI model. So let me quickly run this app that I developed through Next.js and I extensively use AI to develop it. And I'm going to ask AI to the same. So here you can see we have created a site of handpick components, which fetch data from Amazon. And whenever a user would like to buy some of these, they will be redirected to Amazon. And here, if you see the home page, it does not look great. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy the whole code of home page. And I'm going to ask both chat GPT and Gemini if they can improve the overall look and feel of this code. Let me ask both and let's see what they come up with. We can see the ChatGPT 4o has started giving us line by line code. And there we go. On right hand side, we can see Gemini Advance has already completed providing us code. However, on left hand side, um, ChatGPT 4o is still providing us code which is good in a way because it is providing us complete code. However, in case of Gemini Advance, it only has provided us a particular section. And then I'm going to copy and paste both these codes on VS Code and we will see how this updated code will perform. And actually, if we talk about the previous generation of ChatGPT, it was not able to provide or interpret this much line of code. So here we have got around 400 line. So ChatGPT4 used to struggle to produce complete code. But the good thing here is it is pretty fast. And then here we are also getting option of continue generation. However, in case of Gemini, it did not produce complete code at all. So even if I ask Gemini, hey Gemini, I am new here. I need complete code. And now I can hit submit. But before that, um, here we can see the key changes offered by both. So they're both going to center the product alignment. This actually I have asked them to do. And then they're going to reduce the gap spacing, which is also good. And then load more button and enhance styling. And here Google have done something different. First of all, let me again ask Google to provide me complete code and let's see if it can able to. Still, we can see uh, Google is not able to provide us complete code. Which is kind of disappointing because I specifically asked Google to provide me complete code. Now let me copy this code and let's see how it performs. So I'm gonna again I'm going to make it like this and then I'm gonna side by side open this local host. Let me delete the existing and let's paste this new code. 
the new code is two line less and now i have just refreshed it okay so it now look like this and as committed by chat gbt 4.0 that it going to make all these item at center that didn't happen and then i also asked to reduce gap that also didn't happen so i would say that things are as it is and load mode is also not working um which means that although gemini didn't work but the chat gpt also was not able to resolve the issue that i was expecting him to resolve so these things are not that great i would say or they're not going to provide um out of the box solution if you are looking for so still we need to do a lot of manual work this means that it is still not straightforward that you simply ask ai to code and ai will provide you completely working code since i am using both these platforms since more than a year i can definitely say that chat gpt is much better in terms of logical explanation or reasoning when compared to gemini but my favorite is cloud air cloud air used to provide complete code in past um but again i'm not going to compare it with this one because here we are only talking about gemini and chat gpt 4.0 Now let's talk about another use case scenario for example as a customer care of a printer company so i'm going to give issue of same customer to both these ai which is they are facing trouble in connecting new printer to wifi and if these both ai can help and let's have a look what kind of result they come up with You can see here the chat GPT 4.0 going to provide you step by step guide to connect printer to Wi-Fi. First step here is power on your printer which I would say is initial and a very basic step. So one can ensure that you know the printer is plugged in and turned on. Then the second thing here is to locate the Wi-Fi setup menu which will be the second most important step after we turn on our printer. and then um we need to connect the printer to wifi network and then um we can see these step by step and then uh we also have got these trouble shooting tips now if we talk about gemini gemini also went through the similar kind of steps so starting with power and then i talk about the range of wifi which is again both are very good opinion and then it also provides us a link of a website that talk about it which again i would say is a very good thing to have so that we can also see other opinion or other answers that also can be true if in case this particular one didn't work now um we can see that the whole step by step thing also exist here and in this particular case i'm going to give more marks to google than chat gpt 4o now let's talk about one more use case scenario which is content creation example so for example i'm going to give both these ai to create an article on impact of ai in healthcare and let's see what these both come up with Okay so we can see both these AI have generated their result by seeing the result we can see that ChatGPT have created a long article that start with the transformative impact of AI in healthcare and actually this was the title that I asked AI to create content on and then we can see a brief introduction then here we can see a uh, some of headings uh, which talk about the positives or the impact of ai in healthcare which is enhancing diagnostic accuracy personalized medicine improve patient care and outcome accelerating drug discovery and development optimizing healthcare operations so i would say all these headings really make sense when we talk about article on impact of ai in healthcare when we talk about gemini actually gemini also offer not a single result but multiple drafts 
and then I already have clicked on so draft and let's see what kind of alternative answers Gemini come up with and there we go based on your need actually uh, you can go with any one of these answers and uh, if we see these answers are not as big uh, but if we click here on modify response uh, we can go with longer let's say if you would like to compare it with chat gpt now i think google gemini also have created result which is on par in terms of length uh, when we talk about gpt 40 and both these results are of high quality i would say so in this particular case you can go with either of them now i'm gonna give them a translatory task and let's see how they come up with so i'm gonna say translate to hindi okay and then the following is the text and i'm gonna give the same to gemini as well let's have a look now here if i see both um since hindi is my native language i can see how good they both have written so here i can see the mix word hindi and uh, urdu however here we can see pure plain hindi is being utilized which is really nice that how good actually gemini advance in translating so i would say in terms of translation gemini advance is slightly better than gpd now let's talk about example from education for that um, let's say student need to understand the photosynthesis and let me ask the same from google but before that i also would like to add let's also see if they can also add some of good diagram to understand the process of photosynthesis okay we can see here the proper definition of photosynthesis an equation which again looks good and then uh, apart from equation it also talk about the individual component of this equation which again looks really nice stages of photosynthesis and the diagram okay so detailed explanation and all but here i did not saw any diagram now let's see the gemini advance here also we can see the definition and then it talks about the player in photosynthesis we talk about all important key members of photosynthesis which i would say also exist here but here the things are written in different way and um here it is written in different way personally i am slightly inclined towards gemini advanced because the way it have added these player we do not see here so the student who is learning from gpt will have some problem or issues in understanding these key player because here we can see we are directly jumping into equation however in case of google it jump into equation later on not at starting so it is really nice to have and not only that here i believe it is also trying to generate image so i am curious what kind of image it actually create and then again as you know we have got these three different draft and this one specifically looks slightly good okay so basically google fetch this photosynthesis image from amazon which is kind of nice in terms of explanation because at least one can understand you know how the photosynthesis look visually which is really nice however in case of gpt we don't have any image so again for this particular scenario as well i am slightly inclined toward gemini and then i would say that while gpt is good in presenting logics or other use case scenario for example supporting us in code 
Gemini on other hand is good at explaining things, language translation and more. With this version of Gemini Advance and GPT-40, I would say the gap now is slightly narrow. For sure, I can say that Google has made decent progress than previous iteration. I hope guys you find this video helpful and informational. If so, then please do like and subscribe to Technoholic to see more such content. And also please do let us know if you have got any questions or doubt that I can ask from AI on your behalf in comment down below. And I will try to respond to your query as soon as possible. Till then you take care and bye bye.